So this morning I rose and uh, one of the first important elements of my morning is motivation. And motivation is, I think, one of the key elements in terms of meditation, Buddhism, moving and orienting our life in a forward direction. And one of the most important elements of motivation is, is that we are taking our mind in the direction that we want to go. So a lot of times in life, I think we get up randomly. Whatever pops into our head is just the way we kind of go forward. So if we wake up and we're feeling slightly irritated or depressed, uh, worried, so automatically I would say motivation you know, of that day is worried or irritated. So motivation is a key tool and it's orienting the mind. And I like to think of it as inspired. You know, we inspire the mind. In Tibetan we say kunlung, and that's what brings our mind up or what enables our mind to come forward or what inspires us essentially. So when we get up in the morning, I think we all need to be inspired. And it doesn't need to be a world-changing inspiration, you know, but I think even just simply like I feel inspired. Maybe in the morning, you know, what we wake up and we feel like I'm inspired, you know, by my coffee, you know, by my newspaper. I'm inspired to meditate. Whatever it may be, we have a moment. And I think what's important is is that if we divide our day up in terms of morning, afternoon, evening, what is the morning period? It's a period where we can orient ourselves. So within the tradition of meditation and within Shambhala, if we're going to rise as a warrior or somebody who is on a journey, on a path, we need to kind of be aware of that first moment, of the first rising. And we may sit in bed. We may be, if we have a meditation cushion, we, you know, we may take our posture, uh, we may relax our mind, just breathing, and then begin to just say, what is my motivation? I think it's a good, important question. And then we can ask ourselves, what do we want our motivation to be? So here we have the choice of, is it a selfish motivation or is it a beneficial motivation? Uh, is it a mot motivation that um, is <clears throat> limiting? Is it a mo motivation that expands ourselves? And for the theme of motivation is, is that the way I like to think about it is motivation is the flag bearer. If we were to march up a hill, you know, like they you know have, have in the um, movies where you have the person carrying the flag, you know, that's motivation. It's like if you put the flag up there, everyone is going in that direction. If the motivation is down in the valley, that's where everyone's going to go. So motivation is this blend of you inspiring yourself, orienting yourself. But the reality is, is that once the mind moves in that direction, uh, everything will begin to follow. So I think in a simple way in the morning, I find it helpful to clear the mind, just reflect what is my motivation. I have a motivation. And, you know, the thing is, is by the end of the day, if we are very busy and tired at the end of the day, we realize, oh, our motivation was not focused, you know, we were anxious, whatever it may be. So to switch, switch the direction and to be motivated. And I think what's important here is the way the mind works. The way it kind of just, you know, the mechanics of the mind in some ways, mechanics of how it goes forward, is that the motivation is the leading edge. So it's very, very important. So, for example, you cannot meditate without some kind of good motivation or clear motivation or appropriate motivation. If you just sit down and with no, without any motivation or clear motivation, uh, you're just wasting time in a sense. You know, it may be just you, you're sort of, you know, slowly you're taking a period out of your day, but nothing has been gained as such. And what I mean by that is that if our motivation is compassion, if our motivation is self-reflective, looking at what we have done, how do we develop um, the qualities of generosity or patience, whatever our theme may be. We want that to uh, be there. So I would encourage you know everyone to wake up, you know, and and to motivate themselves to have motivation, to sit up, you know, even in bed, um, even you know as people watch on the computer and just reflect, you know, what is my motivation. And then we may we may have a lot of thoughts in the beginning. I don't know what motivation is, you know. And then it begins to settle away. And there's some kind of basic theme, and you know, oh, what is what? Why am I doing this? What's happening? 
And so then to pay attention to that moment and realize, oh, that's just not a mild thought. It's a very important part of our life. I think what happens is that with motivation, if we don't direct in the right way, we find ourselves in a situation where we kind of feel like we've lost our inspiration for life. Uh, we're not sure why we're doing something. We're just kind of going through the motions. Conversely, if we have a moment of motivation, it just makes anything very interesting. So, you know, I, I think, you know, all of a sudden, just the simple aspects of life become, you know, very brilliant and, and clear. So, motivation is important. And I think, again, just taking a good posture and sitting down, breathing. And in this case, I'm going to be meditating on compassion. So just changing my mind a little bit, just from focusing on myself and extending it out, saying, may others be of, may I be a benefit to others.